You see, there is a system of religion that says this God has made people to come out of different ranks in society. It's called the caste system. And we up here are here because God has put us there and he, he, he has determined, or it or this God has determined, that we care little for that which is down there because they're down there because they have got bad karma. And they're called the untouchables and we're called the Brahmin class. And this God determines, according to this way of looking at the world, that if anything bad happens to you in your life, you deserved it. You thoroughly deserved it. You did something. If you didn't do it in this life, you did it in the last one. And now you're reaping the consequences. So, for example, walking down a street in one of these countries where this is the predominant religious view, you fall over, you break your leg, you're in pain on the pavement, you've broken your leg. What will they do worshipping this kind of God? They will walk around you because you are getting what you deserve. But what if your view of God is that he cares deeply and intimately for his creation? He loves people. He's not for pain. He's against pain. Pain was never his intention. He's not up there just wishing for people to fail. He's up there doing all he can to help people succeed. What if your concept of God is that he, he loves people so much that he became one? He became a people. He became a person. He reached out to people. And he, he, you know, sometimes people say, well, how could a kind, good, loving God allow such pain, misery and tragedy in this life? And it's the wrong question. A better question is, what has this good, loving, all-powerful God done about a world full of pain, misery, suffering and tragedy? The answer is, he became a person and entered into pain, misery, suffering and tragedy. And his name was Jesus. And if you have a concept of God like that, when you see someone who falls down and breaks their leg on the street, you have a heart of compassion. In fact, hospitals are an intrinsically Christian concept. They were started by Christians. When, when the early Christians began to care for lepers, after Christ came, they, they, they were the ones who set up care for lepers. And, and, and things like the Red Cross, started by a Frenchman, ha, 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 was because he was a Christian who read the story of the Good Samaritan and was moved by this God of compassion. It affects the way you treat others.